Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back for more of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD Blind. In the last episode, and oh my goodness, there's a ship over there, but anyways, in the last episode, we did some more side questing, got some more rewards, and all that good stuff. We met a lot of great fairies in the last episode. And in this episode, we're going to be continuing on with our side questing adventures. I don't know how many episodes I want to continue this for, but we will indeed be doing that. So, where I want to go is actually over here. No, that's, that's not where I want. I want to go over here. Yeah, Bomb Island. I want to go over there because I feel like there are some nice things over there, and because you guys said that there were some nice things to get over there. And so, I shall be doing that. And while I am traveling for a little bit, I just want to talk about uh, some few things. One, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving yesterday. There was no update yesterday because of that reason. I just wanted to say here really briefly that I hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving. Having some fun with your family and friends and eating a lot of food. Because I know I did. <laughs> My family is all about the food. I'm telling you right now. But uh, yeah, I had a good Thanksgiving and I hope you guys did too. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I really want to say about that. Um, so there's nothing really else for me to say at this point when I'm traveling here. If anything happens, I'll be sure to show it, but otherwise, I think I'm just going to cut away and when I get over to Bomb Island. Because I don't think you guys want to see me traveling like that nonsense, because, well, we've seen the place before, we've traveled there, it's not a new island or anything. So, see you guys when I arrive at Bomb Island. Okay, you guys, so we have arrived here to Bomb Island. Now, I'm just wondering, you guys, let me talk about something. Uh, what do I do here? at Bomb Island. Um, because I have no idea. I'm just really bad at this game, and I have no idea what to do. I mean, look at this giant rock over here. I can't get through that. I mean, look at I can't bang onto it. I can't do anything. What the heck do I do here at Bomb Island? Bomb Island! <laughs> okay, I'm dumb. I'm done with that. <laughs> I was just trying to act dumb. I don't know. Maybe some of you believe that I was pretty bad, but... Maybe I am. Anyway, what the heck is this nonsense? This looks like the Dragon Roof's Cavern Dungeon. But anyways, let's go ahead and press the switch and open the door. And we can just move right on through. Not that easy. Not that dif uh, I was going to say not that difficult, but... Alright, I know exactly what I need to do here. Hello, sir. Let's go ahead and hit you. And hit you. And turn you into a ball thing, because I learned the hard way that this was going to be a thing I had to do. So let's go ahead and go over here. Press this button. Or the ZR. To drop the enemy, not throw it. And we just go on through. That's not too terribly difficult. Even for my caliber. Um, I see a bunch of fire over here. Obviously, I don't think I can do anything about that. Um, I'm guessing there must be something over here. Because it's a pathway. Okay, that's a very narrow pathway. And I should be more cautious when walking on it. I wonder why it's very narrow. Let's go ahead and just... I wonder if I can do this and walk. I don't think this is like the most efficient way to go about this. But I'm going to do it. Because that works for me. <laughs> I had no idea. Alright, I don't know if this is a time limit or anything, but I'm going to kind of be a little quick here. Let's see. Let's not fall. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Alright, let's go ahead and go up here through these narrow paths. And what the heck do I do now? I see a treasure chest up there in the fire. And I see a switch by fire. And I think I know exactly what the heck I'm supposed to do here. Alright, open up your face. I'm going to need to throw you guys into the fiery pit so I can go ahead and not have you fall in the lava. All right. Let's see if I can not do that. Let's do that. All right. So they have a little bit of knockback when I actually throw them. So that's, that's cool to know. Let's throw you into the switch. Did you not go into the switch? You did not. What the heck? All right. So I guess we're going to have to throw another one in there. Open up. There we go. Alright, let's try this one out for size. Please don't do it! Don't you do it. I just want to pick you up. I just want to pick it up! Stop it! Alright, get out of the way. Alright, let's throw you. There we go, that's one down. Alrighty then, these guys are going to be very annoying things. Stop it, you! Stop it! Wow, okay, this is really annoying. Alright, you know what, let's just bring you guys up here. Okay, game. All right, that's fine. All right, you, or you. All right, you're the lucky contender. You're on the Price is Right, my friend. I need to take you and bring you to the stage. Except, not really. I'm just going to bring you to a fiery pit of death. Let's go over here and just throw you onto the switch. There we go. Wow, we're so good at this game. 
And that in turn is going to activate the treasure chest. And we can go ahead and collect it. What I'm going to assume is that it's a piece of heart. But I could be wrong on all levels here. So let's go ahead and see what kind of prize we get from this. Yeah, I thought so. It's a piece of heart. Who saw that coming? I know I didn't. Alright, so now that we're done here, we can go ahead and leave this island. Unless there's anything else to do here, in which I highly doubt that. So we're going to go ahead and go this way. And... Okay, it's shut, so because well, the switch isn't pressed anymore, we can just leave the island, and we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go on that front. Alright, so where do I want to go next? Well, our next destination is, according to my notes, yes, I do have notes, because, well, I write down everything you guys mentioned in the comments, because that's a good thing for me to do, so I don't forget what to do. Um, I want to head west, which I believe is this way on the gamepad, and it sure is. And I want to head off to the private oasis, and if I'm not, cor and if I'm correct, it is, I believe, right here. Yep, the private oasis. All right, so I want to go here because I believe of what you guys said. There's a giant octopus thing that we saw before. I don't remember where that last one was. And to make things a little bit easier, I'm gonna go ahead and change the day to nighttime. I feel like it's easier to see seagulls at nighttime for some reason. I don't know. I'm just going to assume it's a little bit easier to make it nighttime for this. Just to make it a little easier to see the seagulls flying around and all that stuff. And all that nonsense. I was supposed to say all that, all that stuff. And that just came out completely wrong. Alright, so we're back here once again. This is, I believe, the private oasis. And you guys said I can't do anything with that deed right now, which is kind of unfortunate. But I'm looking for some seagulls. Because seagulls are very nice creatures. And uh, we want to have, we want to say hi to them. So let's go ahead and see if I can find some. I see a fish. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't see seagulls. I don't see them. I see a fish. That's fine. Um, seagulls? Seagulls? Are they anywhere? All right, I'm not. All right, I'm about to head offshore to the, to the next square here. Seagulls, where are you, seagulls? I have no idea where you are. Aha! I see seagulls. Aha! Here we go. So let's go over here, follow the seagulls, and do this nonsense. Let's go ahead and take out our bombs. Oh, snap. Here's another one of these guys that I missed. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and just do this. Let's just do this nonsense. This is actually really not that bad. It does take a bit of concentration for me to do because, I mean, he's moving around and my uh, controller is very sensitive. I am using the Pro Controller. No, I mean I said this in the beginning of the LP already, but just so you guys know, again, I am using the Pro Controller, and it's a little on the sensitive side. But I mean, it's it works out just fine, especially since I'm hitting them. So let's go ahead and just throw them at the things, hit all the eyeball balls, and we should be done with this. Yeah, that was not that hard. There we go, not that bad. So is it going to be a treasure chest that appears? Is it going to be another great fairy? Guess we'll find out. It's a holy hole. Alright. Hey, you guys know I'm really good at this, right? I hope... No, I don't care about that. Where is the thingy thing? Here is the thingy thing. Let's go ahead and just cruise on to it. Take this off and stop. Drop it down. No, I'm not close enough. Let's try this again. Just take it. Stop. No. Let's just take it. Stop. Throw it down. <sighs> of course, we're going to have this problem. All right. So where is it? It is right there. Okay. So let's go ahead and... You know what? Let's make this... All right. Let's just do this. Stop. Maybe here? <sighs> we're going to have this problem again, aren't we, you guys? Holy crap. Okay, after about 30 seconds, I finally get what I finally got it. All right, we're good. We're so good at this game, you guys. But from this, we get an orange. Seriously? Rupees are nice, but I don't think that's what I had in mind for a prize. That That's fine, I guess. All right, next place I want to head off to is... Where is it? I'm looking for... Here, I mean, I need to go there. I need to go to Fire Mountain. Where am I from Fire Mountain? I'm, all, I'm, all right. I'm not that far. All right, so I'm going to head off to Fire Mountain now because, as you guys mentioned, there is, in fact, 
another one of those giant octopus things. That, oh, the one that I met before, actually. I think it's the one that I saw for the first time in the game, but I couldn't do anything about it. So I just let him eat me. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Fire Island, and I will see you guys when I get there. It's gonna be a pretty long travel, so eh, it's not that far. But anyways, I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, so here we are back once again at Fire Mountain. And I'm looking for some seagulls. I did see one behind me, so I guess maybe I should follow that one. But we will... We actually, we'll follow the seagulls. I, I see a couple of them. And I'll just follow where they lead. Hopefully, it's to a giant octopus thing. Seagull, where are you going? <sighs> Whatever. We'll just continue looking around. Hopefully, we'll see it. Um, so, seagulls, where are they? Where are a flock of seagulls? I don't see them. I see one over here. Uh, they're all... Where are they going? Where the heck are these seagulls going? Um, hopefully, they'll get into a circle like the last one did, and then we can just fight things. Seagulls? Ah, oh, I, see, I see the fish. That's not a seagull at all. Seagulls! Where are you? Seagulls! Seagulls! Oh, this is this is getting really fun. Oh, I'm in the next square. Okay. Okay, I finally found a freaking flock of seagulls flying around, so this must be... Yes, this must be where it is. Okay, let's go ahead and take out the bombs, because we're going to need them. And we're going to have to shoot this guy's eyes out, because that's what we've been doing for the last couple of fights. So let's go ahead and see if I can get this last one. No, can I get it? Can I get it? Eh, oh well, we'll get him on the next round. Alright, let's get him on the back. Oh, I did get his eye! Alright, cool. Alright, let's get him in the eyes. Not too... You deflected my bomb, man! What the heck is wrong with you? Why would you do that to me? That's really nice of you, deflecting my bombs. I mean, I guess you are trying to, de to defend yourself from my ongoing attacks, but that's not going to really work for you, pal. Because you have a lot of eyes, for some odd reason. And I'm here to shoot them all, and there we go! He goes down once again! And for good, that means we've took down two of them. You know, I don't even know how many there are total in the game. But he's gone, and that's really nice for me. So, what do we get this time? Do we get another great fairy? A treasure? Okay, we get another, uh, another little thing. Alright, that's fine. This better be worth it. I swear if it's rupees, I'm going to be really upset, actually. Because I kind of don't care. I mean, rupees are nice, but... Really, I killed a giant octopus, and you expecting me to get rupees for this? Alright, let's just stop here. There we go, the first try! Oh my goodness, I'm actually improving on that. Alright, here we go. What do we get? Do we get anything good? Another... Really? Rupees are nice, now, don't get me wrong. I'm very content with rupees, but I... Actually, you know what? These rupees are going to come in handy because we're going to need to go to Spectacle Island. That is our next destination. And since we do have a bit of rupees, I think this will be a very good place to go. Because, well, who doesn't love rupees and who loves spending things? And apparently there's a mini game to do here on Spectacle Island. So, just like the other cuts I did, I will see you guys when I get here to where I, where I get to Spectacle Island. Actually, I think, have we been on this island before? That's where that guy was on the thing, and... Okay, that makes sense. Alright, see you guys when I get to the island. Alright, you guys, we have arrived here to Spectacle Island. Alright. Yes, we have been here before, because I remember we came here, I think, and we couldn't really do anything about it, considering we already have the fish location here. It means that I've probably already been here before. But now that it is not nighttime forever anymore, we can go ahead and come up here and see what this guy wants. I think we met this guy at Windfall Island, actually. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Ah! Oh, never mind, my mistake. Yeah, yeah, step right up. If you have confidence in your target shooting, why don't you give this a shot? It's 50 rupees per game. Wanna try? Sure. Alright then. Oh, no god. Ho ho ho! So you're the little shrimp who thinks he is the target shooting hotshot, yaw? Yeah? And you say this knowing full well that we are pirates who are so frightening that crying babies shut their mouths when we step into the room? Har! This should be funny. Fine then, hot shot. If you can manage to sink the five pirate ships you see off on the horizon, we'll acknowledge your skills with a cannon, you scribby, you shrimpy little lamblubber. However, we won't tolerate any comments about how the pirate ships look like barrels, and you only get ten shots, you heard me. 
You can move the cannon with the thing and then fire with the A. Watch the water plumes carefully when you fire, yeah. You got it, shrimp? Sure. If you manage to sink all five pirate ships, we'll give you the treasure we've stolen up till now. Good luck to you, shrimp. You'll need it, yeah. Oh, this looks like a fucking... Excuse my language. Wow. This looks like an amazing... Wait, we get... I get no crosshair for this? Oh, that's gonna be exciting. Holy crap. All right. That went really far. Let's go ahead and lower that just a tad. Alright. How about this? Too high. Is that the lowest I can shoot? Yeah, sure enough, that's the lowest I can shoot. So, for this one, I'm guessing I have to do it a little bit higher. Just a tad. So, let's try this. Alright, that's two. So, for this one, I need to do it like 10 degrees higher. Let's try this. No, alright, alright. Let's try 38. Alright. Clearly, I'm not gonna get this on the first try, but at least I understand how this game works. So that's 41. This one's gonna be like 36 or something like that. Wow, I'm real. Okay, I'm really bad with my timing on this. Uh, I'll try again. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I understand how this game works. All right. Oh, they're in different locations than before. Is this one still have to be shot at a 15 degree angle? No. Okay, that's really. All right, let's increase this to 21, maybe. Is that gonna be enough? Yeah, that's definitely enough. Alright, so the next one is just a little bit higher. So let's go ahead and make it 20... 25, maybe? That might do it. Yeah, that is. This one seems to be a little bit higher than that. So let's go ahead and try... Let's try 35 degrees and see if that works. Sure enough. Alright. These two are going to be like... 48, I think. I think that's going to be the amount I need. <laughs> wow. Alright, and then this one is going to need, like, the maximum amount. Because I can't go any higher. <laughs> wow. Wow, that was really good. <laughs> wow, nice shooting. But we won't hand over our priceless treasure so easily, yeah? Miss. Hey, miss. Oh, wait, don't tell me. Gonzo, you're an uh, honorary member of my family, are you not? So act like it, don't lose your head. You're a talented little kid, I like you. As we promised, here's our treasure, it's yours, so take it. And we get a piece of heart, alright. Alright, nice job at all that. You can have via the ladder, you can leave via the ladder behind you. Climb down or leave banner, if you please. Okay, I don't know if that was supposed to be as easy as I made it look. That looks like it'd be really hard for people. And I i mean, I'm not saying that you guys are bad at the game. I feel like that would just be a hard minigame. Because I have really bad death perception. And I feel like that minigame would cause problems for people. I mean, I don't know. I don't think I was i don't think I was supposed to do that on the, on the second attempt. But I guess that's going to work out. But where else do I need to go now? I need to go over here to Rockspire Isle. I mean, we have enough rupees to go there. So you know what? Let's go ahead and make one last trip. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and over head over to the new island on the next square to the west. Because, well, we need to get the location for it regardless. So there's got to be something special on this place. So let's see. Let's find the fish. So we can at least get the location for it. I need some bait. And I think I have a few more things of bait. We do. We have two. So I'm going to have to go out and buy some bait at some point. But let Oh, here's the fish, too. Nice. All right. Let's throw some bait out and get the location here. Considering we're pretty much need to go to Rock Spire Isle anyways, might as well just stop by and get the location here. Okay. Alright, what is the location called, my good fish? Something fun, I hope. Something more exciting. Alright, what do we got? This is Mother and Child Isles. Okay, haven't been here before. What do we got? They say that inside of the ring of rock that makes up the perimeter of that island, there actually lives an incredibly beautiful fairy. But the thing is, no one's ever met her. Supposedly, the only way you'll ever meet her is to take a ride on the whirlwind and drop inside that rock perimeter from the sky above. Doesn't sound easy, Fry. And that's all the information I got to offer. Alright, so I'm guessing we can't do anything about that now, but I guess it's good to stop by, because I need to end the episode. 
Yes, we are ending the episode off here, you guys. I know, I know. I know, that's not nice, because, you know, whatever. Because, well, pfft. We got a lot done in this episode, a lot of progress indeed, and we have one of these things, and ooh. You guys told me to collect these guys. A lot of you were telling me to stun them and take their chew jelly. You got some blue chew jelly. Deep within blue chew chews is a gelatinous essence that is said to be a magical cure-all. But unfortunately, it can't be used in its current form. Alright, you guys told me to collect those, and you can only get one out of these guys forever. Just one. And that's it. You can't do anything more about that. Uh, can I kill you, I wonder? No, I want to use my arrow. I'm pr or, I don't have arrows. I want to use my boomerang. Can I kill you? Alright, there we go. Alright, do, do you give me anything cool for killing you? A red, a yellow ruby, that's nice. Alright, so, we're gonna end the episode off here, you guys. We got a lot of progress done. Next step, in the, next time on the Wind Waker HD Blind, we're gonna be doing some more side quests. The next episode is going to be the last episode of side questing before the dungeon. And I know there's a bunch of stuff to do in the game right now, but I want to do it portions at a time, so we can save some up for other side questing adventures later on. But next episode will be the last, so post some stuff right now, and I'll probably do it next time. So, with that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more of the Wind Waker HD Blind.